Hey everybody, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll probably know I'm a bit of a fan of Icon helmets and particularly the variant. There are reasons for that and I've gone into that into multiple different videos of why I use the helmets I do and the setups and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, let's get on to the unboxing of today's helmet. Uh, just as I say, to explain the background, I saw this design online last year and I shared a picture and said, is that not the coolest helmet design you've ever seen? Of course, some people didn't agree with me, as you'll see. Taste is a thing which, if, you know, if we all like the same thing, we'd live in a very boring world. However, I love this design. And uh, Icon said, do you want one? And I was like, oh, would you? And they did. So yes, for full transparency, Icon sent me this helmet and they actually sent me a couple of my last helmets, but I wouldn't put a helmet on my head and put my life to it if I didn't believe in the product. This one for me is more about looks. As I say, it's a variant pro still, so it's the same helmet basically, but this, Graphic is like nothing I've ever seen before. Should, should we just get to it? This is the Icon Variant Pro Bug Chucker Edition. Fish head. Now, just going to show you this up close because I didn't notice this. Obviously, you can't tell this in the pictures. This has got green glitter in the lacquer. Obviously, it's trying to be a sockeye salmon. I assume it's a sockeye salmon, or maybe a trout. I hope to get some nicer B-roll. I wanted to do this outside, but it's been very dark and dingy here for days, uh, and it's gonna be for the next week. So, just have a little look at this design. But it gets better, because, oh, hang on a minute. Can you see this? There is like fish scales in the design in the cheeks. That looks like it's in the resin. However, this gets better, because obviously this has got the clear visor on it. It looks so much better with the sort of iridium orange visor, which thank you Icon have included. So I'm gonna switch it over. This is so much easier than the old Icons. Just do this, do this. No need to force anything. So then you bring the visor up, all the way up to the top. And then there's a bit of braveness here because you've got to get these to unhook. I'm not going to lie, that always terrifies me a little bit. I should say in the Pro I take a large and when you first get it, it's going to be tight on the cheeks. Um, but these do give over time and then you have the comfiest helmet in the world. I'm sure when I go to put this on for the first time, I'm gonna have some squidging, some squishing on my face and stuff. But I know in a couple of months time, it's gonna be as comfortable as my other icon, which is just like a glove, it's amazing. Because I went through allowing the padding to give. In the sun, that should look a lot oranger. Um, but if you look through it, it's kind of blue. There isn't a lot of it, it's just a slight tint. It's not much at all, to be fair. Okay, so to put this on. The other side. Yep, that's all clicking in the right place. And pop that, that in there. And we're done. Hope you can see. Yeah. Okay, so this is the old helmet, which is a large, and as you can see. No issues getting that on at all. The new one is the exact same size by the same company. Just give you another look at that. And uh, I, I know this will be tight. Check the, uh, check the chin skirt out because I don't use those. Okay, hopefully you can still hear me, but actually that wasn't as tight as I thought it was gonna be. It's still pressing, but it's very comfortable. There's nothing too harsh. Feels very nice and light. Oh, I love this thing. I love it so much. Oh, and just quickly point out that Icon uses proper double D rings on their helmets. 
So yeah, this is gonna be my new helmet. I might use my old variant when I'm doing sort of off-road stuff and maybe use this when I'm doing more on-road stuff. I don't know. Um, I do need to get a camera mounted on it, which is slightly sad. The front of this looks nice and clean. Great design. And then people like me do horrible things like sticking on GoPro mounts like that. But this has been a great setup using Sugru. I've got a whole video on how I did that. The only other thing is I need to get new audio on this one. Uh, this is my Cena 30K I've had for quite a few years now. It's been through the wars and it needs updating. So I'm not gonna be putting that onto this helmet. Uh, that's gonna stay on, my, on that helmet. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to stick a camera mount on the front and I do wanna get some audio in the future, but I wanna get something that's a lot smaller. So I'm gonna have a look around, speak to some companies and maybe get one in for a review. Uh, but yeah, that is the Icon Motorsports Variant Pro Bug Chucker Edition. I don't even want to use it. I want to leave it and just look at it, but, or at least not put my camera gear on here, but I know I kind of need to because, you know, Icon's given me this, they'd like people to see it. <laughs> As I mentioned, I do have a review on the Variant Pro helmet itself with the token design, um, but yeah, I stand by everything I said in that video. I'm still very happy and I'm actually probably more impressed than I was at the time about how well the build of these is kept up compared to the old ones. The old ones weren't bad, but little bits of trim and stuff came loose here and there in the past. Nothing like that has happened since. They are definitely much nicer than the old variants. Um, and as I say, in my opinion, that is one of the coolest, nicest looking helmet designs out there. And I know, as I say, most people or many people will not agree with me. And that's also why I love it. It's my fish head and I'm proud of it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here. I will um, say do probably set up a video on this, but you'll see it being, being used in the future more. I do really want to show it off in natural daylight, but as I say, the sun's not due out for days. So uh, yeah, as I say, thank you Icon. Massively appreciate this. And I appreciate the fact that you even make it. Having a, a, the boldness to make a design which might not be everyone's taste, but still making it is, what, is, is why I love you as a helmet maker. This... The bunny ears, back from the day, the bunny ears almost have to come back. Do you, do you remember the bunny? Anyway, if you don't, you don't, but bye. <laughs>